It is 510 on your hometown station, KHTS. A lot is happening. Busy couple months uh, here for us here at your hometown station. We've got the 10th annual Home and Garden Show, which is coming up at the end of April. And we're expecting it to be bigger than ever. Last year, we had just over 20,000 people. I think this year, we're blowing it out, expecting 25,000 people. Man and woman of the year is quickly approaching. But what looms larger is the annual KHTS Sacramento Road Trip, which is just a couple weeks away, March 18th and 19th. It's the 14th year we're doing it. And if you're not aware of what it is, what it is is about 100 community leaders. More than that, take a two-day trip up to the state's capital. They have various meetings with elected officials. They really talk about topics that are important to the residents here in the SCV. Get a behind-the-scenes look at how the state government functions or doesn't function. Regardless, joining the community leaders on the trip are members of the KHTS news team and a few select high school students. I have one joining me in studio right now along with Sue Buckley. How are you, Sue? I'm pretty awesome. How Long are time you? no see. I am doing well. I'm doing well. Who is the student that we have here today? Uh, we have Jenny Elliott from Valencia High School. And Jenny, how about you tell us why you're on the KHTS bus? First trip? of all, Jenny, what, what grade are you in? Hi. So I'm a senior this year at Valencia High School. That's exciting. But it's also a little nerve wracking, especially getting towards the end of the year, your senior year. How, are you applying to schools? For sure. For sure. I've sent in all my applications and this month I'm just waiting back to see where I get in and from there I'll make my decision. Staying in state or are you venturing out? I'm thinking about staying in California, mostly UCs or Cal States. Okay, and you've heard back from a couple schools already, right? Yeah, I've heard back from some smaller schools and I've also gotten into Pepperdine. So Nice. So this is so impressive because when I was in high school, I graduated from Hart in 2012. I didn't even know that this trip was happening, let alone, you know, being selected to be one of the students. So I find it highly impressive that uh, the students who are selected are selected. How many students apply, Sue? Do you know? Well, it's really not an application process. It's that the, we reach out to the school sites and ask who they would like to delegate this year. And so the students don't actually apply. They get selected. It is really? truly an honor to be sent on this bus trip. It's like men in black. <laughs> yeah, It's excellent. Awesome. So, uh, Jenny, why were you selected? Why do you think? Um, I think my principal chose me because I feel like I'm a very good representative of my school. I'm senior class president, and I've been really involved in campus. I've played varsity sports for four years, and I'm in a few clubs on campus. And I think I'm just really outgoing and out there, and I'm really involved in my community and in my school. You played varsity sports all four years? Yes, I did. God, that's impressive. What sports? <laughs> I play lacrosse. Lacrosse? Yeah. Really? That's, Sue, that's becoming a sport of uh, interest. It's oh, taken yes. uh, the valley by storm. You know, it's a really old sport. I mean, it dates back to our most native peoples in, in the entire North American continent. And now it really is taking hold here in Santa Cruz Valley. It so really is. Yeah, Boys and sure. girls lacrosse. For sure. Yeah, I wish I played lacrosse growing up. Instead, my, uh, I was playing basketball. My dad's like 5'6". There's no future there. There's none. Uh, so, uh, Jenny, do you have any topics that you want to bring up to our local and you know state elected officials? Or are you thinking of just you know kind of sitting back and absorbing the whole kind of flow of it? Um, I'm pretty interested in just really seeing the different um, topics that are going to be brought up, but I'm also looking forward to seeing what our community leaders have to talk about um, along the lines with um, higher education and things like that. Awesome. Sue, what are the topics of interest? They, they vary every single year. What are, what are we focusing on this, this year? Well, of course, near and dear to me, the topic of education, that we have an opportunity to lobby for what we believe needs to happen in the way of curriculum planning, the way in, in the form of data collection, uh, funding. It's so critical to how we are able to maintain ourselves as an absolutely top school district but fighting for every toehold all the time. And what I love about the trip is the opportunity for all of us as community members to learn about each other's hot button items and to have that chance to give and take with the, with the leaders up there in Sacramento. I have come back with such amazing relationships and such very much more developed views about things that really should be mattering to all of us. Right. So you go up there wanting to talk about the things that are on your mind, but also absorbing and taking in other people's uh, hot button issues. Very nice. Mm -hmm. So the 14th annual KHTS Sacramento Road Trip is quickly approaching March 18th and 19th. You can follow along every step of the way on hometownstation.com. We're sending a few of our reporters along with the crew. It's going to be a long bus ride. 
Sue, are you taking the bus? Are you flying I'm up there? I'm taking the bus again. I have taken the buses about my ninth time. It's the only way to do it, right? Riding on the bus. I love the, 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 the rotating seats of having to sit next to and talk to everybody on the bus, the incredible relationships I've made as a result of this. Do people get up on the bus and go mingle, or do you have to stay in your seat? We are made to mingle, Aaron. We, we, it is forced upon us. We, if you sit next to the window, you get to stay there. But if you sit in an aisle seat, you oh. are made to get up and <laughs> rotate backwards. Carl gets us up uh, uh, rotating all the time. Then we have to stand up and talk a little bit about our organization so we'll have a chance to share some things on the bus trip. Cool. There are some secrets that have been shared on the <laughs> KHTS bus trip each year. Now, if Jenny, if I can tell you one thing, I've talked to several of our reporters on the KHTS news team who have gone on this trip before. Bring snacks. Bring snacks on the bus. It's, it's a way. Hip, yeah, it's yeah, hip. right. That's how you gain favor, curry some favor with some people uh. on the bus too. You know, bring headphones, bring snacks, bring a bring a bring a blindfold. movie to watch. Yeah, we bring, usually bring have a, movie a to DVD watch. player on the on the bus on the way home, so we but watch a movie. Wow. Don't stay too much on your phone. Yeah, don't isolate sure. yourself from the group. <laughs> for sure. The 14th annual KHGS Sacramento Road Trip quickly approaching March 18th and 19th. Follow along on hometownstation.com. I'm sure we'll be interviewing Jenny. Sue will be interviewing you as well. And follow along every step of the way on hometownstation.com and across our social media feeds. Yes, social media feeds. You can find us across all platforms at KHTS Radio. We're going to take a quick break. Thank you, Jenny. Thank you, Thank Sue, you. for coming in. And uh, we have traffic on the 8s coming up. 